So this right here is my windsurf setup for the day. And right behind the equipment, that's my vehicle for the day. Yeah, right, there is no vehicle. And that pretty much describes my plan for the day. Can't believe this actually worked out, guys. Ah, the wind is bad. In the middle of the sea, I was kind of worried about that. So here's the deal. Yesterday, my car broke down out of nowhere. I mean, it already had its issues. And it ran like almost 300,000 kilometers. So I drove it a lot, but I really didn't expect it. And yeah, that leaves me without a car right now. But what are my options? I mean, it's windy and it's not like I'm not gonna go windsurfing, right? You guys probably feel me. As soon as the trees are moving, you gotta go out on the water. The wind is light today. I got my foil set up right here. And there's actually a training today close to Kiel. Normally, I would drive all the way around Kiel, which takes me about an hour to get to the spot. But today, I gotta think of something different. So right here, I got one sail, one mast, one board, one foil, one boom, one extension, just pretty much all the basics. And I've got about three hours to make it in time for the training. The training is just a self-derange training with a bunch of people practicing some races on the foil gear. And yeah, I wanna be there, I wanna train, I wanna get on the water. So I gotta make my way to the closest beach, which is about five kilometers from here. And from there, I gotta make my way to the place where we train, which is about another 20 or 30 kilometers. And I'm gonna do all of this without a car. You guys know already that I offset all the CO2 emissions that I cause for as a professional windsurfer. And I do that by planting mangroves with the organization Blue Life, which I'm also an ambassador for. That's super cool. If you wanna find out more about that, link is down in the description. And I mean, traveling doesn't get much more climate neutral than getting somewhere just with the power of myself and with the wind. So that's my challenge for today. And now I gotta start thinking of how I get to the beach. So the weight distribution seems all right, but I'm not sure if I can really hold this for five kilometers. I'm gonna make a short test to see how long I can hold it for. I think that's gotta be my plan B for now, because if I carry the gear like that, my forearms are gonna explode before I'm even on the water, and then I still need to sail for many kilometers and do the training, so not the best idea. I gotta find an easier way. Right, yeah, that could work. Definitely a lot easier to carry, but still doesn't solve the time issue. So now that we already have some wheels, why don't we try some more wheels? It did take me a while to tie this all together, but what I did now basically is to tie the mast to the bicycle as an extension, so the board and the rest of the stuff won't touch the wheel then I try to tie the mass as much as possible to the board as you can see here and then the board is together with the cart I think the problem will be that the tires are not locked in direction I hope it will follow the bike a little bit let's give it a try and time is running also so if this doesn't work I really gotta hurry up are you ready? Ready? yeah so that didn't work time for the next option Fingers crossed that this works because otherwise I think the topic is done. I'm already probably late and this is my only chance to make it. So I really hope this works. My worst fear is actually that it breaks down halfway through and I don't know how to get back and yeah. I just hope it doesn't end up in a disaster. Wish me luck. I already had to stop a couple of times, but surprisingly right now it's working. It didn't make it so far yet, but it's funny because literally everybody that's passing by with my car is looking at me.
how crazy. I can't believe I actually made it to the beach. Can't believe this actually worked out, guys. This is super cool. Right at the beach with my gear and the bicycle. Sweet. Are you okay? Moin. And after a quick and refreshing Fritz Spritz, I had to get in the water as fast as I could. I'm just gonna go straight downwind. Little did I know that the way back was gonna be a bit different. It was side onshore from where I started, and I just gotta go downwind along the coast to arrive to the other side of the Kiel Bay. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is getting back because I will definitely need enough wind to get back upwind where I started. Now, it's time to enjoy the downwind. Don't we all love shooting downwind? Ooh. Got a real good feeling. Got a real good feeling. Like there is lightning deep in my bones. Got a real good feeling. I won't hit no ceiling. I'm going high. You did not ever know. Got a real good feeling. This place is jumping. I'm now crossing the bay of Kiel. And I gotta make sure there are no container ships here because oftentimes uh, container ships and cruise ships go in and out here so I gotta make sure nothing is coming but uh, yeah, it looks good. I think I'm good to go for the crossing. Let me tell you something right now, right now. Right now, right now. Right over there, that is the center of here. Right over there, that's where I came from. And right over there, that's where I'm going right now. Let me know in the comments, should I make a race with somebody? One person goes by car and one person goes by bicycle and windsurfing. I think that could be an interesting race. I made it! can't believe I made it just with the power of the wind and some of my own power. You guys are racing over there, so it seems like I'm just in time for still to do some racing. Woo! Sick! So I just gotta wait for the others to finish the race and then I can join. Fun fact, I just realized that I didn't take my regatta watch. So I don't have a timer to time the start, but happy to join and I can just line up with the others and then start accordingly. Summertime is here. It's not that cool, actually. Take the high road, I'll take the low. Everyone lies, cause everyone knows. Feels good to be, feels good to be, feels good to be a little bit bad. Feels good to be, feels good to be, feels good to be a little bit bad. And after a couple of races, it was time to sail back home. So what had to happen, happened. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the sea, quite far away from the shore. And the wind died, like on off. Sometimes I can just foil, sometimes not. I see the windmills, they are almost standing still. 
I was kind of worried about that, but the forecast was stable. It's a, it's a stop and go game now. The wind is bad, as bad as my car. <laughs> Sometimes it's barely enough for getting planing, but not really enough for going upwind. And I still got quite a way upwind. Let's hope for some more wind, guys. Guys, it kind of looks like a breeze. It sounds like a breeze, it looks like a breeze. It's gotta be a breeze. Woo. I really hope this gust is enough to bring me home. Fingers crossed. I cannot believe I actually made it back. I just arrived. So where I started? A couple of hours ago. I can't believe that I actually came back to where I started. Uh, I mean, it wasn't that far in the end, but due to the lack of wind at some point, I had to wait so, so long for the gust to bring me back. But that gust was pretty much my taxi to bring me back and yeah, it's good. I'm exhausted, still gotta make my way back home, but I think after all of this I can definitely make that easy. Um, let me know in the comments if you enjoy me doing these kind of trips. Um, I definitely enjoyed it, it was an interesting experiment and yeah, I would say I see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new on this channel. Yeah, see you guys. Hey guys, just real quick before we end this video. Obviously, this is not something you should do if you're A, by yourself, B, in offshore wind, or C, if you're not a professional windsurfer. Going this far out on the ocean is uh, kind of dangerous if you're not trained, so don't do that by yourself. Don't do it if you're not trained, and especially don't do it if the wind is offshore. I would have not done it if the wind was offshore. And I just finished editing this video and the new German surf magazine came in, and not only did they print this super cool picture of me driving underneath the pier, which I also filmed in a video. Um, I'm gonna link it down below if you wanna see that. That was quite fun. But also, there's a report about somebody tripping around on his bicycle. So I think that's super cool. Maybe I should have read that before. But uh, that's actually something I've been thinking about. Um, yeah, making longer trips with a bicycle, uh, even further away and with a windsurfing gear or just with a windsurf gear maybe. Uh, so if that's something you want to see, please let me know in the comments. I'm not sure if that's something that you'd be interested in these uh, adventure kind of things but yeah this video turned out actually really really long it took me forever to edit this and I hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to leave a like under the video and uh, subscribe if you're new here and if you enjoy this type of content the next video is going to be a tutorial again or something in the direction of a tutorial so yeah stay tuned for that and also make sure to join the online coaching in the channel membership I'm actually going to record a video for the channel members too and uh, I will also do a Skype session with one of the channel members so I'm just gonna pick somebody randomly uh, to yeah, call and answer all the questions that person has. So yeah, if you wanna get the chance to get on the phone with me and ask all your questions, make sure to join the channel membership group and yeah, that's it from this video. See you in the next one. Peace guys.